Today we had all of the, the big, great companies that you read about, you don't know about, but you read about. Many of them were making products outside of our country. Foolishly, we lost them. If we had the right person sitting in that seat, that would have never happened 20 and 30 years ago. When you look at the chip business, it would have never left our shores. We had 100 percent of chips originally, and then we uh, slowly got taken down to nothing. Uh, we have the biggest chip companies, the both of them, but we have the biggest in the world coming in. They're going to Arizona and beyond. Uh, and we're going to have, uh, in a short period of time, we'll be up to almost 50 percent of the chips from starting in nothing. And that's, that's something. But we have the greatest companies in the world coming into our country. And that means jobs. And it means wealth, and wealth means security for our people. Okay? Yes, Brian? Yes, sir. Congratulations on this investment, uh, President Trump. And Thank you. Trump would have, and a, a great example of putting America first. What does the labor force look like to fill these jobs that you have? Do we have enough skilled American workers to fill these? Well, we do have a lot of workers, and we have a lot of workers that hadn't been looking for work because they were disincentivized, frankly. And... Uh, People like Tim have tremendous schools and training centers that they build along with a lot of their big plants where they train people uh, on uh, whether it's glass, like in Kentucky, or computers, or whatever they might be 